Are you tired of weight loss products filled with artificial ingredients and empty promises? Discover the power of nature with Pure Revive, the ultimate solution for healthy weight loss. Check out the link in the video description now to start your journey with Pure Revive. Sir Tony Blair has said independence is further away than ever and Scots are reluctant to gamble with Scotland's economy. The former Prime Minister, who was in office from 1997 until 2007, has issued a damning assessment of efforts to achieve constitutional change north of the border. While admitting he underestimated the staying power of the SNP separatist goal, Sir Tony claimed that skepticism had deepened over breaking up the UK. Giving his take on the nationalists' attempts at division, he told Holyrood magazine, Honestly, I now think independence is further away than ever, and of course I might be completely wrong, but I think it is for two reasons. 1. People are focused much more on immediate issues around the cost of living, global insecurity, worries about public services, etc. Secondly, there is underneath the surface, a sense that people understand that you're going to debate about whatever the right constitutional relationship should be and whether it's independence or devolution, but there's a much deeper skepticism now that that debate can resolve those big problems. And he said that even if people thought Brexit was a huge mess, do we really want to gamble with the Scottish economy that is, by the way, much, much more linked to the British economy than the British economy is to Europe? The former Labour leader, who legislated for the Scottish Parliament after a referendum in 1997, also claimed the failure of the SNP to take Scotland out of the Union shows that devolution has worked. He said, I do reflect on devolution a lot, and occasionally do think what should we or could we have done differently but, on the whole, I'm still of the same opinion as I was back then, which is that devolution had to happen. Otherwise, you'd leave Scottish people with the choice of status quo or independence, and Scotland is still part of the UK, so devolution has worked, as far as I am concerned. His comments drew a backlash from opposition parties in Scotland. Scottish Conservative Party Chairman Craig Hoy said, Tony Blair might think the nationalists have gone away, but he's clearly out of touch. There is only one way to get rid of the SNP at this election. In scores of seats across Scotland, the coming election is a two-horse race where only the Scottish Conservatives, or SNP, can win. While Sir Tony continues to sing the praises of devolution, other politicians have been more critical of its impact. Conservative peer Lord Frost previously said that to keep the union safe, Westminster needed to stop the mission creep of devolution going beyond domestic politics and into foreign affairs. He argued there needed to be an improved sense of cohesion and common endeavor to rebuff nationalist attempts to break up the union. Writing for the policy exchange think tank in 2022, he said it was a priority to ensure that devolution is confined to domestic politics without the recent mission creep into foreign affairs and immigration. SNP ministers have come under fire for spending millions on expanding the Scottish government's overseas office network. A government spokesman said the offices reaffirm diplomatic ties and unlock new economic and trading opportunities. A skeptical Lord Frost wrote, We need a sense of cohesion and common endeavor across the country. We must revive the UK nation-state and make it work. Responding to Sir Tony's comments, the SNP's depute leader Keith Brown said Labour would be mortified that Tony Blair, the architect of the Iraq War and NHS privatization, has reared his head in the middle of an election campaign.